Hello guys, welcome back to more 49ers news and you guessed it, this is day 10 of the training camp. Before I start this video, there's a link in the uh, description of what I'll be doing for this season for uh, on the pre-season and regular. Uh, so check that out and you'll see what I'll be doing then. But I'll shut up and I'll get into day 10 of the training camp. So here it is, Grant Cohen. Check him out on YouTube, this guy is amazing, he was there, he's, he's at every single training camp. Uh, um, of uh, sorry, he's like the 49 er training camp every day to see what's going on, and this is it. This is the, uh, the good and not so good from day 10 of the 49 ers training camp. So, let's read analyzing the best and worst performances from day 10 of the 49 ers training camp by Grant Cohen. Uh, here's who stood out on day 10 of the training camp. Keep in mind, the 49 ers did not wear pads, and the only starters on defense who played were Fred Warner, uh, Dre Gr uh, Greenlaw. Uh, Javon Kinlaw and uh, Emmanuel Mosley. The others starters either were injured or given a day off. So let's have a look. The good number one defensive tackle, uh, Kinlaw, uh, actually practiced for a change and dominated the first team offensive line during 11 on 11s. Beat Daniel uh, Brinskill for a sack. Kinlaw is such an enigma. Number two tight end Ross uh, Dewey. Uh, beat safety, Tony Jefferson with a dig route during one-on-ones. Dewey never loses his drill. Uh, he also made a leaping finger tip grab during 11 on 11s. That's good. Here we go. Tight end, George Kittle. Beat safety, uh, Wilson, uh, twice during the one-on-ones. First with a dig route that spun around Wilson like a record. Uh, then with an out-and-up double move that drew a defensive holding penalty. Kittle made the catch anyway he also made a 25 yard catch between two defenders during 11 on 11s so kilt was getting better and better by the minute number four tight end jordan matthews caught a 60 yards touchdown pass from josh rosen up the right side that's pretty good at the right sideline sorry number five uh linebacker uh dre greenlaw intercepted a deep pass intended for raheem most during the one-on-ones greenlaw has ex uh, has excellent hand-eye coordination for a linebacker Number six, cornerback Emmanuel Mosley broke up two of Jimmy Garoppolo's passes and held his own on a one-on-one -on -one against Devo Samuel. The letter is no easier feat. Number seven, fullback Josh uh, Hokit uh, filled in for Kyle Jusic, who had the day off and caught a team-high five passes during the 11-11s. The 49ers almost never call passes for Jusic in practices or games for that matter. I wonder if he's jealous. Number eight, uh, running back Trey Simone. Uh, Big Green on with a whip route during the one on one. Simone is hard to cover out the backfield. Number nine, running back uh, Hasty. Um, won all of his reps during the one on ones. Hasty clear is the most difficult for the 49 running backs to cover. Number 10, safety uh, Maiden. Uh, broke up a deep pass intended for Jordan Matthews, who was running a corner route. Okie dokie. Now we're on the not so good. So here we go for that one. Number one, ride receiver. Heard. Uh, didn't stretch, didn't practice, didn't show up. In other words, he did what he uh, what he usually does. This is Heard's third season on the team, and he still hasn't really shown up yet. I wonder if the Fort Niners would give him a spot on the roster. He definitely hasn't earned one. But this is not good. Yet again. Not good again. Defensive end, Nick Bosa. Didn't stretch, didn't practice, didn't walk around with his shirt rolled up. I guess he needed a break from all that not practicing he's been doing off this season. Uh, afterward, I asked Shanahan if Bosa is on track to play week one. Shanahan said, I believe so. That's been the plan all along. There's been no setbacks. He's doing great right now. We'll see. What's a load of bollocks? This guy... Okay, right. I'll give you my thoughts and opinions in a minute. Number three. Wide receiver... Uh, Jennings dropped a pass over the middle. Made Trey, Trey Lance look bad. Number four, wide receiver. Richie James Jr. dropped a pass over the middle. Made Trey Lance look bad. Number five, quarterback. Josh Rosen ran uh, his first good moment with, uh, of training camp. A 60-yard touchdown pass to Jordan Matthews by tossing a mind-numberly awful pick six to Tony Jefferson shortly after. He has taken a couple of steps back through the last few practices, Shanahan said. Uh, it was unfortunate on that pick six. We were supposed to go to someone and we we had a busted route. So when it all, uh, it, well, it all kind of fell apart and he tried to overcompensate and made a bad situation worse. 
Uh, making a bad situation worse, the, the Josh Russian story. Poor guy. Listen, everyone has, has their good and ups and downs and left, right and centre. How can Shanahan say about Bosa? How can this guy say, oh, I think he's going to be ready for a week one. I think he's doing great. He's doing fuck all. How's that pos? So what's he doing on the off-season? What's he going to do in the off-season? Because this guy cannot go... I'm not going to go for the Chiefs. I'm not going to go for the Raiders. I'm not going to go for the Chargers. I ain't going to do shit. But I will be there for the Lions. Bang! Gets injured. He's out for the whole season. How do you know that's not going to happen? Another torn ACL. Another torn something. If they keep him longer, they're not doing nothing, and his body's going to get hit, it's going to get even worse. They need to hit him hard, as hard as they possibly can. I don't care if they get him now, and he's got to take six weeks off. Man, if you take, take six weeks off, take six weeks off. Take four weeks off. This guy needs... To be ready. Bosa is probably one of our best defensive end players going. Easy, hands down. I mean, look at the look, look at the time we went to the Super Bowl. He, from the week one onwards, he was phenomenal. Minor injuries, whatever. But he was there. He kicked ass. Last year, out. This guy got hit hard. He, out. Now that he's fully getting back into it, and back in back into what? What's this guy doing? But that's it. That's, that's all I can say. Everyone else is up and down the front center, the uh, center. Everyone had their good days. Everyone had their bad days. Both has had bad days throughout. He ain't even done nothing. So it ain't looking good. So that is it, guys. Uh, leave a comment. Tell me what you think um, about the article. Leave your comments, I'd like to hear and see you guys. And um, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for the 40 subscribers. Really fortunate, humble, appreciate you guys subscribed. And if you're new, subscribe to a lot more 49ers news. Try to get into NFL, like all sorts of news as well. Gaming, streaming, reviews, reactions, the lot. But with that being said, thank you very much for watching guys. And I'll see you guys uh, on the next video.